Hi everyone! Welcome back to another video. As you can see here, I got three packages for us to unbox today. Uh, these are from Right Stuff Anime. Um, it's just all of the mangas I bought from their previous sales and they finally, I guess, went into stock or they received the shipment of uh, reprinted titles. So I'm excited to go through all of these packages with you guys. And yeah, let's just hop right into the packages right now. Okay, so here's the first package I've decided to unbox. It's just this really tall package, but I think this one is the one with like all of like the old sales that I purchased. I think the other two packages when I was looking at the shipping confirmation are from the Kodansha publishing sale um, that happened a few weeks ago. So I thought it would be nice to unbox this first. So let's just open this up. Uh, as mentioned in my previous manga haul video, um, what was it? I only buy from Red Stuff during like sales. So I never buy them at their like, I guess, web stated price just because um, every penny, I guess, counts when it comes to saving. And I buy a lot one at a time. So I guess, each each cent or everybody like kind of um adds up in the end but uh yeah so here's the first uh overview of everything i don't even know how to really show you guys if maybe i will just move the box and we can go through the items one by one okay so here is the first item of the package we have the case studies of vanitas volumes one two and three and i'm so excited to have this and progressing with my collection with the case study i think i have volumes six seven and eight so i'm still missing four and five but it is what it is so here is the first volume cover oh my god vanitas is so handsome <laughs> i really love the artwork at least because i'm only watching the anime right now and i've been thoroughly enjoying watching it it's probably one of my favorite um series from summer 2021 and yes oh my god i am so excited for part two of season one i'm just so sad that there's a gap between um the two parts so we're gonna have to wait a little bit but uh yeah i'm just like been this was a i think i picked this series up on a whim and i think i was holding this book no it was not i feel like this is like upside down oh my god <laughs> oh my god i think i got a misprinted book <laughs> oh, oh my god that's so sad okay so i was like wondering why my cover is upside down but it is literally upside down it is what it is um i'm kind of sad that this is the case but oh my god i didn't even notice until now well i'm not that mad about it because <laughs> i don't know i think it's kind of funny okay well that was a fluke but hopefully the rest is okay so this is volume three uh i'm gonna have to share that with my friends later but yeah uh i picked this up the series on a whim when i saw it on the my anime list page for summer 2021 and yeah i've been really enjoying it and winter anime 2022 is going to be stack and i'm so excited oh they also announced the nindroids for noe and vanitas as well and i'm definitely gonna get those um but yeah I uh, highly recommend if you guys are looking for a really cool supernatural vampire human series. And yeah, the romance is good. The art is also really good. Storyline though, I think I have to rewatch the series because I am a little confused in some of the parts. That's what happens when you watch, you know, episode by episode each week. But yeah, I'll definitely do a rewatch before Core 2 comes out. But yeah, highly recommend. Here is another volume that I got, and it's Demon Slayer Volume 18. So I'm only missing one more volume of Demon Slayer left before I complete my collection. It's been a long time coming, and I just hope I get everything maybe before the series or the season 2 ends. I don't know how out of stock Volume 18 is, but yes, I am just so happy we have Canal on the front cover and yeah so stoked 
with the upcoming season and yeah definitely will be rereading the story once I finish season two. <laughs> Here is another volume that I got as well and it's Haikyuu 45, Haikyuu volume 45. Oh my god this is the last volume of Haikyuu. I'm so happy to have this in my hand and I'm actually like Demon Slayer only missing one more volume of Haikyuu left. Um, I'm missing volume 44 that's been out of stock for quite a while but Hopefully I'll get that soon and then I'll also complete my Haikyuu collection. This is my actually longest, I think, series that I own with 45 volumes, which is pretty crazy. But um, yeah, it's my favorite um, sports anime shonen series. So very glad to have this in my collection. Here's a little change to all the mangas that I just showed you guys. I have volume 8 of My Next Life as a Villainess. Um, this is the light novel version, so I've been uh, starting to read the light novel itself, and I've really liked it a lot. Um, it gives more details, and I feel like the anime does do a really good adaptation of the series, but definitely highly recommend the no light novel if you're really if you're interested in the series. Um, was I recently just finished uh, watching season two with my friend. We do a weekly anime watch party and this was the series we picked up for summer 2021 and my god it was so crazy at the end. The last arc was pretty like sad but I'm glad things got resolved and what we also got a movie announcement. How crazy is that? So yeah I'm very excited for the movie um, and yeah. I cannot wait to continue reading the light novel series. Speaking of another villainous story, we have this book right here called I Was Reincarnate as a Villainous, another Otome Isekai uh, book. I only read one chapter of it so far and it kind of reminds me of um, My Next Life as a Villainous. A girl basically gets Isentai into this um, world and yeah, she's a villainess, but because she, I guess, acts a little better now as like a villainess, she's changed her favorability with all the other guys in the series. But to be honest, I don't really remember what really happened, but I thought it was pretty intriguing and I love some villainous um, isekai tropes. Um, they're probably my favorite. I read a lot of Korean manhwas related to this type of stories. So yeah, very excited to have this in my hands and uh, hopefully we'll get another volume or continuation to this series because it looks like there's a lot of potential to the story. So another well-known shoujo that I got recently is Kamisama Kiss. This is volume 9. I saw this on sale a few weeks ago so I decided to pick it up. Um, Kamisama Kiss is probably one of my favorite shoujo series probably within my top 10 and I just never had the chance to start collecting the manga. I think by the time I even wanted to collect the manga, it was already like out of stock and out of print or whatever the status it is. I think it's out of print because Shoujo B has said that they're planning to reprint the series, but due to, you know, the pandemic situation, it's been quite hard. But uh, yeah, I'm going to slowly start collecting the series. Um, I pre-ordered a few other volumes, or sorry, I ordered a few volumes on Right Stuff, so hopefully they might come in soon. I don't know, probably not soon, but um, there are some of my older, older, I have orders from like almost a year ago. It has not even come back to stock yet. So at this point, um, I'm very patient, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, very glad to have this in my collection and cannot wait to continue collecting comments like this. But yeah, highly recommend if you're looking for a really cute shoujo. Another shoujo series that I got is Nana. I have volumes 2 and 21. Very, very surprised when I saw this being shipped out because honestly, Nana has been out of print for so long. Sorry, not out of print again. Out of stock for so long. But Spiz has, or Shoujo B has been making plans to reprint this series. It is a classic shoujo that I would highly recommend if you're looking for a more, um, mature themes or just life about you know two women you know going through different types of romances but uh yeah i'm so glad to have these in my collection and i'm i think i'm almost done collecting nana i mean 
of course, like the series has been on hiatus for, you know, over a decade ago, but um, I still have ho like hopes that one day the author might just decide to write the conclusion, Nana. I think we're almost pretty much done um, based on volume 21. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'll wait another decade um, if oh, the series will ever con get continued. So yeah, Nana, highly recommend if you're just looking for a nice shoujo, jose, mature romance to read. Next series that I have from this package is Jujutsu Kaisen. I have volumes 8 and 10. I'm wa I watched these anime series while it was airing and really thoroughly enjoy it. It's really cool action scenes, great character development and story lines. And yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to collect this series. I feel like I'm just like an anime only watcher for this, but with the right stuff birthday sale and this being for a really good deal, I probably could I just definitely couldn't pass it up. So yeah, very glad to start having this in my collection and we'll see if I'll be able to collect the other volumes since it is a very highly demand um, series in the market right now. Okay, another item that I got from this package is this art book right here. I've been working on collecting more art books recently just because, um, yeah, I think art books are super pretty. I just love getting art books and like looking at art of my favorite artists and authors. So yeah, we have Vampire Night art book. Oh my god. When I was like uh, little, I had, or when I was in middle school, I, there was definitely that vampire phase that I went through, like with the whole Twilight and Vampire Diaries, and of course the series as well. I don't know, I just was consuming a lot of vampire content. Um, but yeah, Vampire Night was no exception. I love the art of the series. The I watched the anime series um, when I was in middle school, and literally ending opening themes hit hard today it's like still hits hard today like i've listened to it on spotify once in a while because i'm just like obsessed with the song um uh the relationship dynamics and the plot itself is quite questionable but i guess if you are in yuki's position and you're you know have the option of kaname and zero like of course i would take both <laughs> It's a little weird, but I mean, they're they're good in their own ways. I don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, uh, yeah, one of my, you know, guilty pleasure shoujos. I think another vampire story or anime series I watched during this time was Diabolic Lovers, which is another questionable vampire story. But yeah, I'm very glad to have this art book at least because it is really pretty. Last item in this package and another art book is the Hanakimi art book. I really enjoyed this series growing up. Another shoujo series I consumed when I was in middle school. Um, there's so many adaptions of Hanakimi and I, after watching like the live action adaption, I finally picked up the a manga series and it was totally obsessed with this story. It's one of your, you know, classic older shoujos. I think it came out like in the late 90s, early 2000s. So I just love like that nostalgic older shoujo art style. But yeah, very glad to have this in my collection. I actually don't even have the manga series because I've been debating on whether to collect the Omnibus edition or try to find the single volume editions. But I might just get the, um, Omnibus edition just because it just seems a little easier to collect and cheaper as well. But oh my god, this is so cute. We have like little stickers. Obviously, I'm not going to use them, but this is so adorable. Um, but yeah, I really love Hanakimi a lot. If you're looking for an older shoujo to read, reverse harem um, story, then yeah, highly recommend the romance in this story is so good. I just love the concept of girl disguising herself as a guy like obviously probably not it will not, it, it's like not likely in real life like that would be so hard to pass up but um yeah okay so moving on to the second package of my haul got this smaller box right here and I believe this is all like kodansha books because 
I recently placed an order for the Kodansha sale and a lot of them ended up being in stock, which was very surprising. I think the other items that were not in stock were pre-orders that were coming out, I think, next year or so. But yeah, oh my god, this is so exciting. I don't even know what's the best way to unbox this since I think there's like volumes like mixed between this and the last package. So we'll see. I might... I'm gonna try to not like be redundant and repeat like the same things over for like the same books. So here we go. Okay, so I bought mostly shoujo series for this package. I think I might just um, take everything out and then show you guys one by one for each series. So the first series, I decided to actually collect the entirety of the series is waiting for spring i think a few months ago volume 14 was finally released in the english print so i've been wanting to start collecting the entire series now so i have volumes one four five and six um for this first package so here it is um i've read the series already through like fan scans and digital books as well but um I actually read this book a few times like reread it a few times because every time when I read the series and then it would get dropped by like the fan scans um I would actually forget what has happened so I probably reread like the first like 20 chapters four times um, I mean, it's like your typical shoujo plot, a girl that just helps out this basketball team, and, you know, there's like that typical love triangle. Um, but I do think the ending is very sweet. I still really like the character progression in the series, and it's kind of like a very relaxing shoujo, and nothing too, like, I guess, angst about it. So that's why I decided to collect this book. And yeah, the artwork is also really pretty, and yeah, I just love all the characters. They're also sweet and cute, and there's some drama, but not too much as well. But yeah, very glad to have this in my collection, and can't wait to collect the rest of the other volumes. So another series I decided to collect the entirety of is LDK. I think LDK still has one more volume before it's officially done in the English print, but I decided to just order everything now since... Um, the price was really good, so I have volume 2 right here, but just a little synopsis of the series itself. It's just two students who are currently cohabiting together. Obviously, high school ho cohabitation and living with the opposite sex is quite, I guess, quite controversial, but um, at least their age is like quite similar. I've pretty read, I read a lot of shoujos where the age difference is, I guess, a lot bigger. Um, so I think this is like one that's done, um, at least it's not too controversial in terms of age gap, uh, cohabitation. Um, but I do really like the relationship between our two leads. It's been a while since I've read it, but it was, I think, recently finished trans English translation. So I'll definitely do a reread of it again. It's another like longer shoujo series and I tend to really love <laughs> longer um, shoujo series because yeah you just get more content out of it but yeah I watched the live action movies for the series and obviously Kento Yamazaki as the main lead has always been like wow so cool but yeah I'm very happy to have this in my collection I think like in my other package I'll have more volumes of this because this series was pretty much in stock like there wasn't really any volumes that was out of stock so I'm guessing I'll get the entire series besides the last volume. But yeah, um, this is probably one of my favorite cohab cohabitation high school romance shoujo series. I think another series that I really enjoy that's another cohabitation is Good Morning Kiss or Good Morning Call. Um, that is probably my favorite cohabitation, but this is a very close cool second. But yeah, this is also the spine of the books and yeah, I think it's very adorable. Okay, so here is the last package of my Write Stuff haul. Um, like I mentioned in my previous package, this is just all Kodansha titles from the Kodansha sale I recently bought. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same series because I pretty much ordered the entire like two shoujo series Awaiting for Spring and then LDK. So yeah, very excited to 
almost be done with those two collections. I mean, those two titles are basically done being translated in the English print and just, um, yeah. Been enjoying collecting a lot more shoujo series, so that's why. Let's see if I can open this. But yeah, oh my god, that's a lot of books. Oh, that's a lot, some other titles as well that I've been really interested in getting, but maybe here's just an overview of what I got. Uh, and yeah, I'll take everything, organize them, and show you guys each series one by one. So continuing on with Waiting for Spring, I got volumes 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14? Yeah. So I'm still, I think, missing maybe a few volumes in between and then 13. But yeah, I'm very happy to have almost be done with this shoujo series. Don't want to be redundant, but here is a little bit of the art. Um, you know, I am a sucker for, you know, love triangles and reverse harem-esque books. This is definitely not like very reverse harem type, but yeah, I just really like it a lot. It's been a while since I've read the last chapter, so I'll definitely do a reread once I get the entire um, series, but yeah. Uh, also, this mangaka just released a... Uh, I think another new series as well. Uh, I don't remember the title of it on the top of my head, but I've been very excited to start reading it. She never disappoints with her art, so yeah. I think I'll put the title of that new series in the description box, but I have been really enjoying that book a lot. I think it's about a girl. She's like kind of a country girl looking for a boyfriend, and um, yeah, she meets this guy. <laughs> I don't know, that sounds like a typical shoujo plot. I don't know. Shoujo plots are, you know, kind of similar, but execution's always a little different. But yeah. Very happy to have this series. Oh my god. And then the final cover. I think the vital volume isn't even like the story itself. I think it's just a collection of extra chapters, which is very nice. But yeah, oh, this is adorable. Okay, yeah, so that is everything for Waiting for Spring. Oh, and here's maybe the cover, uh, the spines for the series as well. Wow, it's like very colorful. It's like one of my, like, the most colorful spines I have in my collection. So I totally missed this volume, um, but yeah, I do have volume 13 of Waiting for Spring, which is very exciting. So I think I'm only missing like two or three volumes, but yeah, I did not see this in the package. It was buried underneath, so yeah. Very happy to have this volume as well. Continuing on series that I got from my last package, but we do have the rest of LTK here. I think I'm just missing the last volume, which is super cool. So here we have this volume 16. I think the seven and 18 are combined into one. So it's like a bigger volume from what I've noticed in the listing. So yeah, this is so cool. Uh, what was it? I was kind of surprised that LDK was actually like this longer series because like, um, reading it, like, while it was, like, ongoing with its English translation, I didn't realize there was so many chapters, and, like, yeah. Um, but here we have just a little bit of the art. Kind of don't want to be too redundant when I say, but, yeah, thoroughly enjoy this cohabitation romance. There is, like, a, um, what was it? A love triangle in the series that kind of progressed through as well but yeah so pretty this reminds me of like the movie live action movie cover yeah volume oh this is kind of like bent right here Hopefully I'll straighten out when I like kind of place it with the other volumes. Yeah, volume 10. I didn't do a good job kind of sorting through all of this books, but here we have nine. I think this is my favorite cover. Like this is so cute with her holding the dessert. And I feel like people think 
yeah, cohabitation is, like, very controversial, but I don't know. There's something about them that, like, I'm like, wow. I like them a lot. This, and then we have volume 8. And then the first volume, which I didn't even notice. I did not have in the first package, so yeah. That is how it is. But yeah, one more volume to go. That's pretty crazy. But yeah, we'll definitely reread this entire series once I get the last volume on hand. So yeah, this is LDK. And let me just show you guys the spines again real quick. It's very simple, but cute at the same time. I can't wait to have this on my shelf. It's so pretty. Here's another volume that we have for the last package, and this is Shikimori's Not Just Cutie. I thoroughly enjoy reading this series so much. It's very wholesome high school romance. I don't even know if this is a shoujo or not. It's more like a slice of life, but I just love the dynamic between our two leads. So yeah, oh, her and Izumi are so cute, and I just love the friend group so much. Um, yeah, the relationship is like, so cute like the progression of it like though it feels like kind of slow it's like just right for them i don't know shiki Mori is just you know her duality is so cool but yeah very happy to have this i think i ordered like a few more volumes like it's been publishing very fast so yeah cannot wait and i just love pink hair female leads like her this reminds me of, like almost like tono called kawaii but you know not the whole supernatural part but yeah, I just love pink hair, <laughs> female lead, wholesome relationships. So yeah, that's Shikimori. Okay, so another series I picked up is Blue Period, Volumes 1 and 2. Uh, to be honest, I haven't really read this story yet. I know that it's coming out as an anime series uh, this coming week or so, or it actually came out already, but it's airing in fall 2021. I've heard a lot of good things about it, especially like students who want to pursue art as like a career choice. But um, yeah, I think this is a really cool, interesting story. And so that's why I decided to pick it up before it gets, you know, super out of stock or something like that. So very excited to watch. I'm probably going to watch the anime series first, then read the manga. But yeah, um, very excited to get started into the series. And the very last series I picked up from this haul is Watakoi, Love is Hard as Otaku. Oh my god, this is one of my favorite romance stories um, between two adult workplace romances are definitely up in my alley. I'm so happy to start collecting this book or uh, the series. Um, to be honest, I was a little hesitant though because the way Kodansha made these covers I think it's like kind of like bigger than a lot of my other um, manga volumes so that's why I'm like oh where am I gonna store these books but um yeah I'm just so happy to finally get my hands on them um especially with the last uh chapter that was just recently released I thought this was a good time to actually work on my collection for the series but yeah uh I just enjoy the dynamic between our two leads and their kind of like childhood to like best friend progression. I also like this uh, couple as well. They have like what that enemies to lovers kind of trope. But yeah, uh, I just kind of love the dynamic between the main leads. And I find it's a really wholesome romance as well. But yeah, very happy to have this in my collection. Yeah, it's so pretty. Oh, and also the spines are so colorful as well. Uh, I'm so excited to continue collecting the series. So yeah. Almost completely forgot about this volume. It was buried underneath my other books. But we do have volume 7 of Perfect World. Uh, I've, had, I've kind of talked about this story, I think, in multiple haul videos. But it's just basically like another romance, Jose, I would say, series following these two people as you can see the male lead has is in a wheelchair and it's basically their relationship and how they kind of um work through his disability um it goes through a lot of very interesting uh 
um, progression, and I really like the dynamic between the two leads. I mean, you can see the struggle that they have to go through, and I think at times it gets a little frustrating, but I would still say this is probably one of my favorite romance series of all time. But yeah, highly recommend if you're looking for more mature or... I guess older adult romance, older adult setting romance. But yeah, very happy to have this. I think I'm still missing like two more volumes before completing this collection. So yeah, or completing the series. So here is an overview of everything that I got from this haul. Uh, I'm so happy to have uh, added some new titles to my collection as well as made some more progression on some of the older titles that I am currently collecting as well and also having that those art books right there it's also really cool but anyways I don't I always feel like it's Christmas when I get a, like a huge like shipment from right stuff I don't know I just love getting lots of manga all at once instead of like one or two volumes at a time but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye!